Welcome everybody to Techspress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the using Shopify with WordPress in 2024. So uh, this guy is going to be helping you to collaborate between two powerful platforms. So how can you install and set up the Shopify plugin for WordPress? So first of all, let's navigate to the WordPress dashboard. Inside here, let's go for directly into the plugins and let's go for add new plugin. Now this sets the foundation for a seamless integration between your WordPress site and the Shopify store. Usually what we wanted to do is to, let's say, for example, adding our products into Shopify inside WordPress. This is more for people who don't have a website inside Shopify and they only want to aim to add all the products directly inside WordPress, or just to make like a quick jump in it. So here I'm going to go now, where it says search plugins, and let's go and type Shopify. Now here into Shopify, you see that we have the WP Shopify. We have the uh, W2S migrate to WooCommerce, uh, the Shopify course, Shopify to WooCommerce, and much more elements. So usually what's happening here is that all of these actual elements are based into just copying in all your information, all your coding, all your liquid files, and pasting directly here into WordPress. Once again, if you don't want it to create a website, if you just want it only to focus into your products and add it directly into WordPress, well, I believe like the most easy way to display all the products, it would be directly here from the WP Shopify. So click now into install now. It's really easy, short code added. I'm gonna click now into activate. And now here into my plugin sections, I'm gonna go for install plugins. Inside here, we have the WP Shopify. Now here, what you wanted to do is to make sure that your plugin has now been correctly installed. So usually here uh, into the lipod, you should see that we have all the uh, plugins installed, but in this case, the WP Shopify is gonna be here into the settings section. So I click here into the settings section, and now it's gonna be asking me for the configuration. Now it's this Shopify domain, no HTPS. Uh, so I'm gonna go back here into my store. I copy the my domain. And I paste it, of course, here. Now, here, what I wanted to do is to go directly into my Shopify and go into my settings. If you haven't created a setting here, uh, I'm going to go here into my dashboard, focus into settings, and here, just scroll a little bit down and find your apps and sales channel. Inside here, let's type into develop apps and create a new app. So, uh, let's say, for example, this one is going to be WP. App developer, it will be ourselves. I created a new application and now I have the development history. So I have the configuration, my API credentials, and the API settings. So I wanted to add all this information directly into WordPress in order to continue. And this took me directly back into my Shopify. Apps and sales channel, installed it, developed apps, and here's my app already been installed it. Now, another solution that I can give you just in case you want to do something much more easier, for example, like here, I just make the actual integration of my products, doing the process of adding one, uh, let's say website into another one, it's not that relevant, but what I think is gonna be helping you a lot uh, if you wanted to sell your products directly inside WordPress, well, you don't need to create uh, any API, you don't need to create any plugins, you just need to uh, focus into the embedded code. And here into the embedded code actually is not that difficult to get started with the embedded. So like just focus and creating your product. Let's say for example here, I can add a new block for example here. And I started to embed to customize all of my elements. For example, here the shop now, for example, right? So I am uh, doing this stuff, telling people to shop my products. So what I just did here is to go from the V dots, add the URL of an specific product, which in this case would be this one. So I just copy my product name and I paste it or embeamed it and hit now into linked. Uh, just as easy as that. Or maybe I can embeam it my actual code, uh, my product directly. And there's a lot of process. There's a lot of pro stuff that you can do from Shopify directly inside your website. The thing is, what works uh, the best for you? If you ask me, guys, I believe that if you wanted to get started here using, uh, let's say, for example, uh, WordPress, but using Shopify as well, maybe what you can do, the best solution that I can give you is to just use the configuration between the Shopify and add this directly into WooCommerce. 
and WooCommerce is let's say for example like the shopping experience directly into uh, WordPress. So uh, that totally depends on what you're trying to do here into WordPress. So guys, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description just in case you wanted to get started with the Shopify uh, website totally for free, having an actual huge deal. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you wanted to get started here into WordPress or into Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.